So the situation here is that we have a table of contents, but in the navigation bar, the table of contents is listed plus each heading is listed. So in essence, it's listed twice. You'll see chapter one, intro to the study, chapter one, intro to the study. I don't want this navigation bar to take me to the table of contents. So to fix that, what I'm gonna do is highlight the table of contents, highlight all of it, and then go to the references tab, add text and tell it do not show in table of contents. And you'll notice that took care of it, it's gone. Next, I want to show you this data set 36. It should have the, the leading dots to show that. So what happens with tables of contents in Microsoft Word is that it won't always put those dots in there if you have a name that's too short. So in this case, I just put a few dots in, it automatically happens for me, but let's say that we didn't do it that way. So the proper way to fix this is to actually go to the data set page and you can control click. It should take you there. There we go. Basically the data set page is too small. So maybe we can say, um, Let's see, data set for this study. And then we can go back to the table of contents. We'll come back up here to where it said data set and it was too small right here. Now, if we right click and we tell it to update the table, it should, let's find that data set. It should automatically, where did it go? Data set for the study is what I'm looking for. Let's find it here. There we go. So data set for the study, put all the leading dots in and it's fine. You'll notice that we have a few others like that. Um, so we'll just take care of those here shortly. But the main thing for this video is Two, two parts with your table of contents. If it's showing up here in the navigation bar, you can simply highlight it, go to that add text, tell it do not show in table of contents. And if you have this issue with the leading zeros, you can go to that section in the paper and just add more words. It just means that that heading is too short. All right, I hope this helps you. Good luck with your writing.